the, 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 the thought that you just made up. So stop making that up. Just give up on it. It's not true. Trust me, it's just not true. It's not in any way, shape, or form true. It's not even close to true. It is just a suffering. It's a belief that will cause endless suffering for as long as you wish it for it to. As you just love to beat up on yourself, you think you're so damn bad and that you've been so bad and you've done everything wrong and you just got it poorly and all of that. And none of that is true, Will. It's just bullshit. But you can believe that as long as you want to suffer. I can't stop you from suffering. I wouldn't want to try to stop you from suffering. If you People need to suffer if they need to suffer. But yeah. I just like them to be suffering in some way that, you know, you can use that suffering to recognize this hurts. <laughs> and just begin to tell yourself a better story, man. You know, just pick one. You know, almost any story is better than that one. Yeah, I, uh, I do. I, 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 I do. I just think respect is, is the basis of human life, really. Uh, but where, where did you, where did you, where did you get that information? Well, I, 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 I sense that we're in some form of a relationship to some divinity. Yeah, is it, but, but, but when is it taught to you lately? Well, I, I, I live in that consciousness of having fail to appreciate the uh that is not a supreme being or any or any great intelligence that is that is that is an ego that is caught up in whipping itself and if you want to whip yourself i mean that's okay with me i don't want to stop you from the opportunity to whip yourself but but i want to let you know that you could stop it if you wanted to you could just come here and believe what i say for once why do you come here? You say, I'm very dualistic. Why do you come here? Because I'm not really drawn that way. Why do you listen to me? I'm very dualistic. Well, don't come listen to the non-dualist then. It's just going to make you miserable because it's not going to be, my story is not going to match yours. It's never going to match yours. You're just torturing yourself. So if you're going to come here, which I mean, I'd like, I want you to come here, but I'm just saying, if you're going to come here, but God say, get your story straight, which is that, you know what? I've got all these beliefs and, and, and I don't know that they're true because where did those ideas came from, come from? Oh, they came from this thing. Oh, I thought I could trust my brain. But that was when I got sober. That was one of the things that I figured out when I first got sober, which is 20 something years ago. Was I, and I used to tell people that and helped them as much as I did, AA did, I swear to God. I'm telling them, you can't trust your own brain. That's what's the problem with you. Is that I didn't know that I was talking in a, a sort of in a non-dual way. But I'm telling them, you know, you can't trust your own brain. That's what you're trying to do is you're trusting your own brain. And you're asking the question, I wonder if I can drink again. And your brain is saying, sure. And you listen to that and you go drink again and you're in, in, you're in disaster again. We have to be willing to break the patterns that are beating us to death. And you're just mumbly and, 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 and just, <laughs> and what are you suffering from? The very beliefs that you hold, that you made up. You made them up. I mean, that's the truth. You made those things up. I mean, if somebody else told you any of that shit, they were just, they, they, where did they get that information? They got it from their brains. That is brain information. That is not truth information. Truth information is very simple. You're it. There's no good. There's no bad. There's just this. It, the mind will tell you what's good and the mind will tell you what's bad. But the mind is crazy as hell. I mean, you said, said for years, the only people that I can wake up are crazy people. Because if you are living in the world with a story of separation in the truth of there not being any, you, sir, are insane. And it's only when you accept your own insanity that you can accept, that you can begin to accept a cure for it, which is how about, what if I was to actually do inquiry instead of just listening to Fred talk about it? How about if I was to really say, you know, who, where did that thought come from? Who thought that up? Is it true? Do I know that I'm a bad guy? Do I really know that? Or do I just do I just 
feel that way. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think it's a feel that way thing. The um, and the I was thought to be a bad guy for a very long time, and I, hell, I would agree with them. I mean, I was a bad guy for a long time, you know, but I was totally bad. But I was bad, and uh, and now I'm not totally good, but I'm a lot better than I was, and. It, this is a lot more comfortable. I don't lie to myself anymore. I don't tell myself I can drink liquor because I, that was the thing that I, had, I got sober with. Was I always told myself, you know, that I could quit drinking anytime I wanted to. I just never found any moment where I wanted to. Wow. So I had to find a moment where I didn't want to quit, but I quit anyway. And we do that with thinking. Just recognize that you're in a torturous position. You're a very nice person. Betsy and I like you very much. And we think you're just the sweetest guy. We really do. And it's not that you have us food. We can read people very well. And you're a sweet guy. And you're beating yourself up. Don't do that. Come on, Will. Come to the light. 